So we are going to do this shape okay, as a triangle shape. Basically, you are just going to draw a base like this shape, and then you alter. You push from inside. Okay, you alter it. After right after you throw, you alter, it. and then you wait till your uh, clay wall a little bit stiffer. You use a paddle to kind of push it, paddle. It. So your outside is not so much curved, it's like slightly flat. And then um, when you're ready to trim, you flip it over. Basically, this one you cannot trim it on the wheel because it's already altered. So I was using the show form to do the hand trim, okay, hand trimming, show form. Okay, show form is a little like a cheese grater, and you cut it out. And also here you can see the foot is kind of slightly dented in, is that when I flip it over, the bottom is still not so dry. Okay, you don't wait till it is too dry and use the paddle, you kind of knock it, knock it from the bottom, push your clay in, inward. So if you look at this piece, the inside, actually there's a clay that been pushed up. Okay. So after that, I uh, just use hand or very sharp knife to do hand carving. It's hand carving. So it's a lot of uh, hand build technique on the, this project, okay, on this project. But uh, everybody does uh, their way differently. Call uh, it up sky high and then push it. If you're strong, that's fine. But when you're getting older, you will try to get uh, some way that is more easy to do. It. And uh, the, I cannot explain it. Uh, uh, using a smaller spot, you create more pressure to the surface. So the way you're talking about use that or use the fingertip. A lot of people try, when they send it, they try to push the clay from here. Actually, you distribute all your force. So when you see when I'm doing the centering, I use curve my finger, use a lot of my right tips to move the clay. This tip here, see that? Because it's smaller area, so I can move the clay easier. So, and then I bring the clay toward me. So that's that's what I do. Uh, you, you, you very rarely see me like push the clay high and then push it back. I think that is a waste of energy and time doing that. I just keep on, this is Dr. Mana clay, but I actually, I'm working on the outer part just instead of inside spin by itself. I'm moving the clay from the outer part. It's like redistributing the skin of the clay. The skin of the clay. So I'm just moving the outer part of the clay, so it will save me a lot of energy, try to squeeze the whole big amount of clay and then push it down. When you are young, you could do that, but when you're getting older, okay, try to get some, <laughs> some, something. Like you see that when I'm peeling, you see that my thumb is kind of peeling the clay, right? This part here, it's moving the clay down, right? It's just the skin, not the clay that you squeeze the whole big piece. Okay. So if you slap center, there's really not that much clay to move around to get it centered, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why you just need a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So slap center is the very uh, basic. Uh, you get the, the clay to move to the most of the center and then uh, you don't need to move a whole lot of clay. Uh, the we weigh this clay is 8.5 pounds. So it's... It, it's a lot of clay, it's a lot of clay. Um, the way I'm opening now, you see that I have my right, uh, my left thumb holding on the side and then use my both hand inside and then go and squeeze it, squeeze it in and then 
that thumb is too compressed, so it doesn't get wobbly. Okay. Usually when you you have a good sander, but after you open it, you lose the sander because you don't control the wall. Okay. So when you're going down, see that the thumb is there, and you hold it, and then you leverage it. Your both hand inside, and you take it all the way. So now you can see that the inside is like a V shape because my my finger is forming like this a V shape. And then go to the very bottom, and then slightly open it on the floor. Slightly open it up on the floor. Is this How thick for this type of uh, How thick? Uh, just regular. I guess uh, you don't want to trip too much of it. So try to make it, I would say about quarter of inch, yeah. quarter of inch, maybe slightly uh, thicker than quarter of inch. But once you, and, and for the base, because we are, we are going to knock the base in, so you don't need a little bit very thick, okay, just regular thickness. Yeah. I would say maybe uh, between three eighths of an inch to half of an inch for the floor. You don't need to go very, very you don't need a little bit very thick. So to make the feet of the bottom though, it depends on how much thickness that you have on, that you need and how tall your feet It's depending on how hard you pound the clay in. You push the clay in. How hard you, how hard you push it in. Yeah. So when you push it in, you don't want the clay to be too dry. You okay. still want to have a little bit of uh, softness there. You just want to set up for a while, like you know, half hour or so. Oh, no, 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 you have to, uh, a day, yeah, a day, a day, yeah, a day. All right, and then uh, after that, I am uh, spraying the clay outward. Um, you can see that all my fingers still pinching the wall when I'm spraying it. It looks like the same way you do your porcelain. It doesn't matter uh, which clay you're working. Throw on porcelain and throw on stoneware, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the usage for, for porcelain is even more important, usage of water. Because okay, once the porcelain gets water in, it becomes soft much easier than, much faster than the stoneware. So, so the uh, water usage for porcelain you have to uh, control it. So that's why I keep on emphasize, try to recycle your slip, okay, recycle the slip. Okay, keep on compressing the floor. It's very important because later on, you are going to knock it. So you want the base to be very firm, the particle firmer. It, it will avo avoid the uh, the crack when you push the clay in. So make sure you compress hard, okay, compress hard. And now the clay is fairly thick, so I'm not going to use my normal method to pull it up yet. Usually when the clay is so thick, you want to try to thin it down by using this method. It's compressing on the outer part. Okay, hold it on the outer part, and then use the fingers inside, push the clay against your palm, your right palm, and then you raise it. You actually raise the wall from the inside. And you can see there's still lots of clay hanging out here. Usually people don't get to use them. I always like to use all the clay. So I'm going to bring the clay in from the corner. And this finger is how I pinch it in. The right fingertip. Okay, I move the corner in. Quite a bit, yes. 
and then continue push and I don't know if you notice or not when I'm doing so what what is my right hand do yes okay if you do that it's very unstable please find the spot that you can brace it okay. put the slip back to work and I'm going to color to make it taller uh, where's my right hand brace it where's my left hand brace it okay what do my foot do knees up see that my left here not here right brace it when you throw always remember the reasons be slippery support. This is called support. Okay. So you only actually did one pull so far. I haven't pulled yet. Yeah, he just, just raised from the side. Just raised yeah, yeah, I haven't pulled. Have yeah, raised it and colour this colour colour you can make the wall taller. Colour to make it taller. Okay. Right, and now I'm ready to try to raise it. The wall's still thick, but uh, I could try to make it thinner by raising it up from here. Slippery. There's still a little bit clay hanging out here, right? After I initial pull up. So what do you do? Use it. Push it in. Okay. Color to make it taller. And you see that I keep on recycling my slip. I hardly add, keep my hand there, right? Just keep on recycling. Now I add a little bit of water and put a slip. Now usually you don't want to lift the top a bit too thick, so you can send it down, just when your top is too thick, when you pull up to there, the torque is very, yeah, very, very large, so it might get twisted here. So we can go back here and then try partially send down the top.
the slip back to work. Try to make sure the wall is straight. So I will come back here and color it a bit. Slippery, corner control. Right, stand up. Okay. I'm coating the slip. You see that I touch the slip in on the bottom of the floor. So my hand goes in there push that and move the, the slip, push that against the wall and then hold it up. Yeah, okay. Let the wheel do the job. So you just push that against it and then you move it up. Okay. So inside the slip. Okay, so first bring it to enough height and then I start to shape it into this kind of curve. And I think this is a good size, a okay, good thickness. You'll get it to work. It's about 14, I would say. I was say 14. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, the proportion you don't have, you don't be uh, too too low, right? The proportion. If you have smaller amount of clay, so you, you do a skinny one. But proportion is very important for this kind of shape. Okay. So I was slightly pull this part up here and I can get about half a inch higher corner. On. Slightly push that. You can leave it over slightly thicker, that's fine because you can do whatever when you are using the show foam. You can remove whatever the clay you you don't need it. We raise for clay here. This part here still feel like thick. So I am using my actually left thumb and the finger inside the pool. My right hand is just stabilize my left hand. I can broaden it out a bit more so this part here is slightly wider. The top I think is fine.
So when you are shaping, usually your eyesight should look further, not look at your hand. You want to see what is the shape look like. So that, look by look at further, you can see that curve, and then inside hand, do the stretching accordingly. <coughs> Still uh, push out a little bit more here. Shaping is basically the inside hand doing the job. Because when you will have a cylinder, it's it's like a straight. But when you want to push the curve, it's the inside hand is doing the curve part. And outside hand is just to maybe compress it or maybe to gauge that. So you have smooth curve, smooth curve. I would do maybe a little bit push here. This part here looks too narrow. Um, I am going to use just the metal rib to do that. For the metal rib, usually I use the straight side. You can use the curved side so that you don't drag the line from the corner. Usually when people push that, the bottom draws uh, unwanted lines there. Uh, to avoid doing that, usually when I use the straight side, so after I initial push, like here, I initial push it, and I'm ready to go my fingers start to move to here until my inside finger move to about uh, one third from the top. I actually start to move my rib with my fingers. Slightly release the tension of the bottom. If you keep on pushing, the corner is gonna drag line. So start from the very bottom. I move my finger and once I get to about one third from the top, I slightly release my tension from the bottom and just use the one third to guide the clay and move up my rib. You see that there's a straight some light there so I could come back there and then remove it. You can put the, the, the finger here, the pinky. You can kind of push that away. Why not use the rounded side? Well it's my personal preference. Sometimes I uh, I like you see that? Sometimes I like to have this line here. A little Older or a little light there, so I could use that to squeeze it. Uh, you see that? Slightly line there. And now I'm using the curved side because I want this part here slightly curved out. So I'll be using the curved side. And 
slightly compressed so the rim is slightly thicker me using a lot of slip each side but when I am shaping I keep on grabbing all the slip over here there's a curve slightly curve out okay we are going to use show from anyway so doesn't need to be uh, very smooth. It, this is for presentation on YouTube, so it'll make it smooth. Otherwise, you could just leave it up. Later on, you're going to use a chuffle to, to trim trim the surface. Okay. thicker okay. right so that is the forming part and chopping that corner off throwing you see that what what two I use one two three four right that's all I have for most of my throwing job Start to order that being get the button slightly smooth here. Okay, we're gonna alter into a triangular shape so you're gonna find uh, three equal parts. Uh, the good thing for my rib is here is the uh, gauge. So here I can find this three here, right? Three. So this corner here, three, and then here's another three here, right? And then there's another three here. So you don't need to get something. You could find it from the information here. Okay, and so I'm gonna connect. I keep it straight. The square one I slightly twist, but this one I'm just pushing it up straight. Three here. Okay, so you got a uh, triangular 
you find it easily from the information from the bed. Yeah, this bed is, I call it a translucent bed. It's, it's made of a, a, we call FRP, fiberglass reinforced plastic. It's very strong plastic. Even a little bit heat, it's not going to work. Uh, maybe adjust this part is slightly too straight because when I'm stretching, stretch a little bit too much there. So you can push the wall back slightly. Just come to the top and then you see that you want a slightly rounded shape, not too of the sharp triangle. So that looks good. Yeah, looks good. Okay. And from that uh, the picture, I actually pinch. Right, I have a slight pinch um, here, but the pinch even? Uh, well, you can always come back and adjust it. Later, after you pinch it, you kind of slightly open it up if uh, the, the other side is smaller. So, first you push, see that, push that, that on the very corner here, and then you squeeze it. So this part here, slightly roughness looks nice. Okay. And raise it up, push from that, and go and pinch it. And if there's a hole there, that's okay. Later on, you can patch it. Yeah, I can fill it with the clay. Slightly pinch here. Right. And sometimes the left hand and right hand, that the thumb and the index finger, they are different sizes. So you can use the left hand, go back there, and then so that you both sides you have the thumb. Okay. You go back there and pinch it, so it will be even. And later on, if uh, it gets a little bit stiffer, you can always adjust it too. And slightly squeeze that so that corner isn't so sharp right there. Okay, so that is the uh, demonstration on throwing the piece. And later on, when the wall is a little bit firmer, get a pedal. And it's like the pedal here, so this part here is not so curved. Slightly flat looks better. It yeah, looks better. But you don't want to do it now. You could you could probably torture it, torture it, and then heat it up a little bit and paddle it. You have this one on your video too. Oh yeah, triangular, triangular vase chin. Okay. Okay. I think I have uh, two or three of the video, the same method. Yeah. Okay. So that is the drawing demo.